In life, sometimes it's easy to forget where you came from or how you got where you are. But that's not the case for Cleveland native Steve Cargile. Recently, I caught up with a former NFL player to find out more about his journey. <laughs> I mean, you can't take no for an answer, pretty much. You have to know your ability, be confident in your ability, know that you belong. That's 2000s Chanel High School grad and two-time Super Bowl winner Steve Cargile. And he knows how to surprise people. When you were in high school, was the NFL a goal of yours? I didn't look at it as a real goal at the time. You know, my, my main focus was pretty much just to lay the foundation to, to get to college. You weren't necessarily a big recruit out of high school. No, no, I wasn't. Um, I missed my junior year uh, with the wrist injury. Really didn't get the offers that I wanted, so that's when I started pursuing Ivy League. Steve settled on Columbia University, where he played wide receiver his first three years and safety his last. While Columbia is far from a breeding ground for the NFL, in 2004, Steve signed with the Dallas Cowboys as an undrafted free agent. The good thing was my first year when I was there, uh, I had Marcellus Wiley there too, who's a Columbia grad as well. So he kind of, you know, helped, you know, kind of take the pressure off of that. He went on to have a six year career in the NFL. I don't think I was the smartest guy. I don't think I'm the most athletic guy, but I always worked hard in the classroom and always worked hard on the field. Cargyle never quits on the play. Now, He's a pro scout with the New England Patriots. That's where he's won his two Super Bowl rings. How did you parlay your football career after it was done into a career in scouting? I sent my resume and cover letters to every team in the league. I got a lot of no's. And New England was the one team that responded and you know decided to bring me in for an interview. Steve one day wants to be a GM, but for now, he finds joy in the journey. I'm proud that I can make my parents and my family proud. You look at a lot of guys where I come from, you know, they're not making it into this type of situation. And while a stop so far may have been unforeseen to others, it has not been a surprise to him. I'm not shocked that I'm that I'm where I'm at right now. I mean, I still have a long, long way to go. You know, it just goes back to the hard work ethic. I'm not surprised. It's, it's you know, what I expect from myself. Steve says in his free time, he enjoys speaking to children and encouraging them to stay focused and follow their dreams.